Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. After properly boxing the maxillary and mandibular impression, we are prepared to pour the master cast. In complete denture prosthodontics, we will be using the yellow dental stone. And for your impressions, a mixture of 150 grams of dental stone to 45 cc's of water will give you the proper water to powder ratio. You always mix these two to a nice smooth consistency and then vibrate them on the vibrator to eliminate any uh, bubbles and air that may be trapped in the dental stone. We're going to mix this here in nice smooth consistency to our mix and then just prior to pouring the box impression we will vibrate the stone on the vibrator. Trying to eliminate the air here. And then we will take the impression and place it that is boxed up on the vibrator and make small applications of the stone starting at one corner and permitting the air to escape just ahead of the poured stone. carefully rotating and rolling this to permitting the air to escape ahead of the stone until we have completed completely poured the tissue surface of the impression. We now make uh, additional applications of stone to provide ourselves with the uh, half inch base height. The mandibular boxed impression is poured in a similar manner and after the appropriate waiting period for the stone to set, uh, the models may be separated from the uh, waxing strips and uh, prepared for uh, the next step in our denture construction. The maxillary uh, master cast is uh, relieved of its boxing strip and examined uh, carefully. The strip is removed. The Waxed wax boxing rope is also removed. And then using the uh, laboratory uh, knife and very carefully slipping it underneath the edge of the impression tray, it can be carefully teased from the uh, maxillary model. If some uh, a restraint is met uh, during this procedure. Uh, just carefully soaking uh, this model in uh, water will uh, permit this ease and separation. You can see here is our master model now, uh, ready to be uh, to be prepared and to be trimmed. Now the first step is to uh, freshen the boxing edge here with the uh, sharp edge of our laboratory knife. Uh, and the final completion of the preparation of the maxillary master cast uh, will take place on the model chair. But before doing that, uh, let's separate the mandibular uh, master cast. Again, uh, the first step is to remove the outer boxing strip, exposing the stone base, and also you will see here the impression plaster and pumice mixture. Now this will separate again uh, quite uh, easily by, uh, first of all, uh, cutting away some of the impression plaster and then very carefully placing the uh, edge of the laboratory knife into this uh, mixture and breaking it away from our uh, mandibular impression. You see this crumbles and falls away quite easily and of course the application of the foil substitute uh, on the impression plaster pumice surface prior to pouring this model uh, facilitates this ease and separation. And again, the final removal of the uh, impression is uh, done by carefully teasing the knife blade uh, at the edge of the impression in the stone model 
and separating in this manner. Going back with the laboratory knife, we can dress up the landing area on our master cast and preparation for the final trimming of these casts on the model trimmer. After removing all of the plaster and uh, pumice mixture and the residual wax, we are prepared to trim this model on the model trimmer. The first thing that we should do is to trim the inferior border of the stone model and adjust this to approximately one half inch in uh, thickness or height. After we have attained this uh, thickness, we then can begin to adjust the boxing edges of the model to approximately a quarter of an inch in width. Moving this around, trimming across the posterior border, around in the buckle flange area, adjusting this landing area until it is uniformly approximately one quarter of an inch. At this point, we can do the final uh, trimming of the landing area and adjustment uh, with uh, our sandpaper to smooth out this area and also to adjust any discrepancies with the uh, laboratory knife uh, that might still be uh, present. After having uh, trimmed both the mandibular and the maxillary model, we can set them aside uh, to dry in preparation for the next step or procedure in complete denture construction. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu slash license.